The outbound powered flyby has been complete. We are on our way now to distant retrograde orbit, or DRO. Now we're going to do a maneuver to put ourselves into this orbit and to maintain it. We're going to be about 38,000 miles away from the lunar surface as we orbit around. That's part of why we're calling it distant. And we call it retrograde because the moon orbiting the Earth in this direction and then we're entering into our orbit in this direction, opposites retrograde. Now we're choosing this orbit because it's extremely stable. It doesn't cost a lot of fuel to maintain your position there, and that gives all of our engineers, our flight controllers, the chance to really learn about Orion systems in deep space, learn about flying a spacecraft farther than we've ever sent one intended for humans. We're going beyond anywhere we ever went for Apollo. And so we're going to be in that orbit test out all of those systems. Eventually we'll do a maneuver to break out of that, do another flyby and come home. But for now, looking forward to getting into DRO and really getting our chance to learn about Orion on this Artemis One flight. The Artemis One mission continues with these upcoming operations. and tune in to NASA TV for live coverage of the next Orion milestone. For more on the science of the mission and resources for students and educators, head to stem.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Follow the mission online on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and get the latest updates from the Artemis blog at blogs.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Subscribe for more space. space, space, space.